Consciousness is the ground of all being. It was discovered 7,000 to 5,000 years ago in India. New science introduces a, a science of how our feelings arise. You know, um, most of even the spiritual traditions have been involved basically with the thinking part of our experience. Feelings are uh, where to the bulk of the traditional spiritual traditions have been an enigma. Um, but now we have after all these thousands of years, we have a science. Quantum physics enables us to actually develop a science of what we call vital energy. The issue is, is there non-physical energies in the world? and quantum physics has a way of treating them. Yes, there are non-physical energies, which are also potentialities of consciousness to choose from. And therefore, um, if we cultivate these vital energies in the body, then we do great in terms of finding altered, very uh, transformative states of consciousness. And this is what the uh, Tibetan traditions and Indian tradition of Tantra these traditions try to do. Although um, uh, their experiential parts were very well developed in the form of pranayama, which uh, uses the breath for moving these energies in uh, channels uh, in the vital world called meridians in China and um, uh, nadis in India, Ayurveda. But they are the same concept, pathways for these energies and uh, pranayama is the science or practice of moving these energies along these known pathways. Chinese have hand movements um, of Tai Chi and Qigong by which one accomplishes the same thing. Neuroscience is very powerful. It, it is not the science that people thought it was. People thought for a long time that the brain cannot be changed and therefore creativity has to be wrong. This um, new data is uh, showing that no neurons are extremely flexible. They have plasticity. Uh, they can make new connections. They can even we can even make new re new new neurons to make memories of new experiences. So creativity is completely possible at any age. So in quantum science, we have made a breakthrough. Creativity before was completely mental creativity. We have started a new science of vital creativity, creative vital energy movements. It was not entirely unknown in the old traditions uh, where it lived in the form of what is called Kundalini awakening. Kundalini awakening means awakening of a new pathway, a new uh, functions of the organs open up when we discover a movement in a new pathway creating the new function of an organ. The ancient call it the opening of a chakra. So when the heart opens, for example, in the old heart, you could only love somebody romantically or love somebody if somebody is your child. In the, when the new function of the heart chakra opens up, you can love everyone. This kind of awakening, we now have the key for. So much to look forward to in the use of quantum science in the coming decades. Uh, breath is very important in this because um, indeed uh, the creative process would involve uh, breath techniques, pranayama, as well as using qigong. 
except that we won't stop with the uh, known we will get into the unknown but via the exploration of the known just as in the creative process what we do the known practice throws in new ideas that are extrapolations of the pathways that are already known and then we throw it to consciousness as potentiality consciousness then makes an expansion of these potentialities that's automatic in quantum physics the possibilities expand like a wave and out of that expansion new possibilities are created from which consciousness can choose a new pathway that's the basic idea so one has to play with a lot of breathing techniques and a lot of tai chi and a lot of qigong not in the old way always extrapolating in new ways and out of that comes this um, a key concept in this is do be do be do. One does a little, like if you watch a Qigong practitioner, you will find that there is a lot of movement. That's the yang part of Qigong. And then there is stillness. That's the yin part of Qigong. In that stillness, objects become potentiality. And new potentialities are created by the expansion of the exp existing potentialities. And when consciousness chooses the new, once in a while we have this quantum leap. And that quantum leap gives us an opening of the chakra.